Hello Aquarius, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. We're going to do a deep dive into 2024 for your sign. Cards were pre-shuffled to save, save time and the head of the reading will affect all of the cards that are laid out here. The head of your reading is the Knight of Cups. The genuine offer of love. Pisces energy, by the way. Eight of Pentacles. I'm feeling off of this. This is the Master card, but Master of your own destiny. The Shadow side. Capricorn energy. The Two of Pentacles. the Emperor. Justice. Aries energy. Libra energy. At the heart of your reading, we have the Seven of Cups. Along with the Queen of Wands. More Aries energy. Fiery. And the nightmare card that keeps showing up for you every now and then. And that's about being up in your head. Needing to get control of thoughts of what you might be perceiving is not as bad as you think. Taking control of your thoughts is what I'm feeling with the emperor energy. The Seven of Cups with the Queen of Wands. She is the entrepreneur. The Law of Attraction. Confidence. This is about choosing wisely the path you're about to take. And you will have many opportunities. This feels abs actually Aquarius. This feels like there is a particular opportunity that will come around and keep presenting itself until you choose it with the justice card here mastering your own destiny facing that shadow side and what it is what is this about your thoughts especially when it comes to love and this offer of love All relationships are codependent until they are toxic. Codependency can be toxic if you are. Oh, trying to control another. You seem to be mastering this, not in controlling others, though perhaps you are, but this facing of yourself. Now, it's almost like, uh, I need more clarification for this dude. This is about being busy, um, multitasking uh, successfully. Uh, waters are roiling behind him. So that is making me feel like this facing of the shadow side facing of your fears you see you're not looking behind you at this tumultuous water you're keeping your focus on the balance and of course Libra energy is helping you here so this might rear you know when doesn't it rear its ugly head every now and then and daily in our lives but this feels very much like um intent intention intention of facing that dark side not accepting it mastering that 
so that when these thoughts come in, that because of this busy energy, it is giving you the confidence that you need. So that when this does creep in, you are better able to handle it. Now we've got the page of swords and the nine of pentacles. This is telling me, yes, we know this to be the spy card. Uh, this can also be a child that sees you as a role model. This is the independence card and not necessarily about being single. This is about walking your path, regardless of what your partner's path will be walking. This is where you get the balance and the harmony. These are all the gifts that you have within you, Aquarius, that you'll be able to implement in 2024. And you're being watched. This is a path only you can walk. But it doesn't mean you're walking alone. It means you're coming into your own. Virgo energy, strong Virgo energy here. These two cards, the magician manifesting through action. And this action feels very much about you're following your, following your path, <clears throat> following your path. And look out of this comes this blooming of who you are. And this is all about mastery, mastery of self, mastery of your gifts. Justice. You're being watched and admired. You're definitely being admired. Probably to do with this genuine offer of love coming in. Perhaps that's what you were, you sent out an intention that you wanted something real, something genuine, and it is manifesting. And I'm not getting any feeling of, you know, tomfoolery because sometimes the magician will hide a trick up his sleeve. This is mastery of what you can manifest. And now comes this offer. Now with the queen of wands here, is this an offer for your services if you are in your own business? If you are in your own business, that's exactly what that means. But it is also an offer of stability and it can be in love as well because love is affecting this reading. Committing to a relationship, living together, marrying, combining your gifts, this genuine offer. I mean, this king material, boss material. I mean, boss material. Look, he's under the emperor. Maybe that scares you a little bit, Aquarius. Maybe you have those moments, as we all do, that am I good enough for this? Do I deserve this? Absolutely. That is going to be very clear to you. Now we have in these two corners, the master card and this offer. You're shining here. You know, and this is in spite of everything that's going on in the world. And behind you in the world is that distraction of turbulent seas. Let's clarify these. The Knight of Wands is landing on the Knight of Cups. So is this a competition for your affection? One wanting to sweep you off your feet and the other one a genuine, deep, abiding love? Or let's combine this energy, Aquarius. The Knight of Wands also signifies the removal of blockages. And if you've been on my channel for any length of time, 
you'll have noticed for the past, oh my goodness, two years at least, that there has been a lot of work that Aquarius has been doing in self, not in a selfish way, but just wanting to be a better person. Aquarius in the Aquarian age, coming into your own, blockages being removed. What stood in your way to genuine love is being removed. So mastery is being clarified by the being stuck, the eight of swords. We've got double eights here. You are bringing yourself into this energy. You have accomplished this. And perhaps you've been holding yourself back for others. Perhaps you've been harboring these talents, keeping them hidden for the time being, for the right moment. But there is that pull to, to keep you held back, maybe by others maybe by old conditioning that said well Aquarius honestly do you think you're good enough you are good enough you've mastered this hermit energy oh there's that walk through the left brain with the light of creation and it seems to be bursting through doesn't it walking through the left brain with the light from the right brain that comes from source, comes from the emperor. So this navigating and part of this growth and the hermit moments that you go into self, working on, you know, facing that shadow side. Feels very much inspired by this emperor that taking control and this does not mean that you're allowing someone else to take control because we see you in full bloom here this really does feel like an initiation doesn't it this reading this is collaboration the blueprint the plan so the plan is I'm going to work my arse off in 2024, whether that is for love, for family, because these are the paths. Maybe you decide to tackle all these paths. You've got nine pentacles. After all, this is only seven paths. I don't know that that means anything, Aquarius. Just saying. There is a blueprint, a plan. And you're not planning this alone others want to work with you so your uh, busyness won't be too busy that you can't handle it because you're not doing it alone everyone is playing their part the Emperor helps you to lay down those burdens this rather clarifies that inspiration I was just speaking about and through this plan and all that you have juggled brings you to that laying down of those burdens. This feels like a kingdom growing, Aquarius. Bravery, courage, strength, justice. You betcha by golly, you deserve this. You deserve all the goodness that universe wants to lay on you. And it feels very much like Aquarius. All of those energies that the universe was talking about in these past readings that we've done over the last couple of years has brought you to this point in 2024. Your bravery and courage, fairness, justice, and sometimes hard decisions that where you had to keep your your wants and desires in check because they may have been encroaching on someone else's 
desires and hopes and wants. This was the courage for you to bring it to balance, to master it. This really feels like holding back when you needed to and releasing when you needed to is paying off in 2024 for you. Boy, was this slow energy, eh? So slow that deer. Look at, you see the deer in the background? Not sure if you're a statue or if you're real. Is that is that a statue or that did that that person on a horse move? Slow energy. So this for me clarifies that you will have more than one opportunity to pick the path because it feels very much like you have been molded for this path. So you may feel stuck, afraid that maybe you can't take this path yet, but maybe maybe you need to learn more. Maybe you need to do this or do that, work harder, um, take your time. This opportunity is not going anywhere. It was meant for you. It is your path. You are choosing wisely. This definitely means you are choosing wisely the path you are taking. Many opportunities coming your way. Well, confidence that you've chosen wisely. Confidence that you will not miss your opportunities. Confidence that the confusion of when to stay put and when to move, when to stand up, release the beast, and when to hold it in. You have that confidence now of knowing how to wield that energy. You have been conditioned for this, training for this, Aquarius. Fear of deception. Look at that. Fear of deception. Is this offer of love? This genuine offer of love? Just another player? Am I being deceived? And just think for a minute, Aquarius, what if perhaps this Knight of Cups, as genuine and deep loving as he is, let's just pretend for a minute that he's human <laughs> and humans make mistakes. Perhaps he was a player or she. Male, female, doesn't matter. It's the energies. This fear of deception because you've been through it before is part of this shadow work you've been doing for the last couple of years. And that hermit is no dummy. conflict. This person is conflicted, wanting to approach you. Or are others standing in the way? So this person, maybe this person is the one that's feeling a little stuck, not sure how to approach you. They're conflicted. Maybe they're the ones feeling stuck because like, look, they see you as masterful and brilliant. Wish fulfillment. Two nines. We had double eights, now we have double nines. Coming into your own with great strength, emotional fulfillment. Maybe this person wonders, I need to step up to the plate. If I'm going to be dealing with a princess or a queen or a prince or a king, I need to be
honing honing their skills. They're still not confident enough. And as I said, this could be a child you're dealing with too. Um, that is, you know, your child. Maybe it's your inner child. Conflicted. You're being watched as a role model. But they may not be quite convinced that Aquarius, is this conflict something to do with an outside source? You know how the devil likes to get his dues before something wonderful happens? Crapola. And what better way than to get into your head and have you think the worst. Manifesting. Yeah, this has taken a long time because you've been working on yourself and your shadow work a long time. But it is now coming to bloom. Be patient a little longer. Now, Aquarius, we know, I know, you've been getting your card, the Seven of Pentacles, dang near every reading. Saying, be patient a little longer, be patient a little longer, be patient a little longer. But I think that was the importance of the work you were doing. It is now manifesting. Don't pluck too soon. Maybe that's what this is about. Not mature enough yet. To harvest. And there will be lots of opportunity to do that. We have confidence, but you will not lose the opportunity when it comes in. It's manifesting for your sake and no other. Now the King of Cups, or the King of Pentacles, we've got celebration, reunion. This could be reconciliation. Something worth celebrating that brings stability in your life, in your home environment. And of course, the obvious, stability, monetary, not worrying about a roof over your head or food on your plate, the gathering of friends, a celebration. You know, with all this said, Aquarius, I have to say, and I don't wanna poop on your parade here because this is a beautiful reading, this conflict and nightmarish stuff going on, shadow work, we've taken a look at your personal shadow side. But I've mentioned almost nothing about the outer circumstances, the outer conflict that's going on in the world. Because 2024 is that entry into sci-fi world, a world we've never seen in human history. The changes are immense and confusing, but you can go forward in confidence. It's like that um, having faith in yourself, having faith knowing good things will come if you're not harboring or living in this nightmarish headspace because our minds need to be taken back from the control they've been under for thousands of years and that's what's happening in 2024 and it gives me great pleasure to see human beings coming to uh, that mastery and that depth of removing blockages and showing genuine love. This is the Aquarian age. And you're playing a big part in it, Aquarius. I hope that is helpful for you as you go forward in a very scary 2024. To my subscribers, God bless you. And for those who haven't subscribed, I hope you do. And I also hope to see you again 
very soon. God bless. Bye-bye for now.